Hey everyone and welcome to my first video. Today I'm taking you through a full water change in my hydroponic setup. Step by step, just by the way I do it once a week. This is my deep water culture system with top feeding. So water flows constantly from above and keeps circulating through the buckets. It might be look a bit technical, but once it's running it's actually super easy to manage. First things first, I check the pH of the current solution, even though I'm changing the water, it's helpful to see where the values ends up. Then I check the EC, it shows me how concentrated the nutrients still are. Always good to know how the plants are feeding. Now I drain the old water, I'm using a small pump for that. Takes a bit of time, but it's hands free. While that's going on, I clean the bottom of the bucket with the vacuum, just to remove any settled debris or residue. That way the system stays clean without needing to scrub everything. If needed, I give the bucket a quick rinse, nothing major, just freshening it up before refilling. Alright, now let's check one of the plants. I'm always a bit curious to see how the roots are doing, especially after a full week. So here we go, let's lift it up and take a look. White, healthy and full of life. With this kind of top feed setup, the roots get constant oxygen and nutrients. Here's another look at the roots, just to appreciate how much mess has built up already. I always find it crazy how fast they develop in hydro, especially with good oxygen levels and stable conditions. Next I add fresh water, 15 liters of osmotic water and 15 liters of tap water. That gives me a solid base to mix my nutrients into. Alright, next up, time to add the nutrients. I'm using Kana Aqua, which is made for system like this. I really like it because it keeps the pH stable and feels like a high quality nutrients line overall. I add 65 ml of part A, 65 ml of part B, 75 ml of Rizotonic and 3.5 ml of D-Block to keep the system clean and the lines clear.
After mixing, my pH usually sits around 6.4. I'm a bit too high. So I add about 3 ml of pH down, which brings it down to around 5.6, right where I want it. Then I check the EC again. It usually lands somewhere around 1.1 to 1.2, which is perfect to early wedge for this setup. And that's it. Fresh water, balanced nutrients and everything ready for another strong week of grow. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions or want to see more of the grow, feel free to leave a comment. See you in the next one.